Good morning, everybody. Can I have the energy level much higher? Good morning. Good morning. That's great. Uh, well, as Mr. Divakar said, uh, even before I gave my entrance for the TISS, I slept that entire week. So all my friends were wondering whether I'm going to get through the entrance or not. But I got through and uh, I think... Uh, I was curious, uh, I, w I was a kind of curiosity for all the panel members and uh, all the teaching faculty in TISS, okay? I'll touch upon that. Why I could take that liberty with myself is I had planned everything since I was in high school, yeah? <clears throat> uh, when I was in high school itself, I used to uh, interact with a lot of my school friends, we used to discuss, we used to chat. Uh, honestly speaking, it's it's then I had told a lot of my friends and even my teachers that I would be doing uh, masters in personal management. A lot of people discouraged me. A lot of people said it it, it won't be possible. And uh, <clears throat> in 1990, um, the awareness about visually challenged people was below average, if I say so. Yeah. Another another thing what, what has really thrilled me today is I used to stay on this floor as a hostelite. So <laughs> it's it's nice to know that you know I'm coming back on the same floor where I used to stay on room number in, in room number three zero six and today I'm talking to all you guys. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Let let's go ahead. Um when I got into TISS, the interview panel members were actually taken aback. Uh, they asked me, uh, in fact, they grilled me for nearly one hour. In the end, they asked me, would you be able to get a job for yourself? We can't guarantee a job for you. I said, it's the, it's the duty of the institution to give me skills and required qualification, the rest is on me. It's my responsibility whether I get a job or don't get a job. Faculty people asked me, another thing is, have you applied for social work? I said, no, I want to do personal management. I'm very clear about it. So first and foremost thing is, you got to be very clear as to what you want to do and why you want to do. And even when choosing institutes, you got to be very clear. You got to do a self-assessment of your own. Are you good in maths? Are you good in logical reasoning? You're good in what? Based on that, you got to choose institutes and you got to go ahead, right? During campus recruitment, I still remember 23rd February 1992, six o'clock in the evening. I get two offers at the same time. One was from BPCL. Another was from Cadbury India Limited. And uh, the beauty is uh, then... Uh, I'll give you. <laughs> I didn't join Cadbury's. <laughs> well, uh, head of the department, uh, Dr. K.G. Desai, uh, you know, said one thing. You have been a role model for us and we will definitely take a lot of visually challenged students in the future, you have really opened our minds. We thought you will never, never get a job also. But for my surprise, you got two offers and that one the same day and same time. The reason why I chose uh, Bharat Petroleum was I had done my summer project with them. And uh, Cadbury's and BPCL were, saying that, uh, were giving me the same package. There was no difference. Another reason why I chose BPCL was I wanted to travel all over the country. Because in BPCL, it's, it's a policy. Even I, 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 I am not exempted. I've, tr I've worked in Delhi, I've worked in Bangalore, and now in, I'm in Bombay. Yeah. Uh, after I joined, I was in Delhi uh, in a plant. That's a terminal, oil filling terminal. Now, when, when I went, people were shocked. People didn't know how am I going to work, what am I going to do. Now, as Mr. Divakar said, you have minimum resources with you. You have to make maximum utilization of that, right? Now, at that time, we, did, we didn't have screen readers. Uh, even if we did have screen readers, they were quite expensive. And uh, remember one thing, you, you take one step further. You prove your worth, you prove your potential, 
then the organization will automatically ensure you get whatever you want. You need not demand at all. That's what I did. Well, I had just 14 months stint in Delhi. Guys saw a lot of potential in me. They said, we are going to shift shift you to a lubricants manufacturing plant which is in Bombay the moment my name came in the transfer list all my friends called me from all over the country uh, who are in BPCL like my nickname is Nagi they said Nagi to ek kaam kar naukri chhod de nobody has been successful to change the mindset of the workers in that plant two minutes I went numb I didn't know what to do Subconsciously, I was talking to myself. Then I thought, if I don't go, people will think, oh, due to disability, this guy is making an excuse. I said, let me take it as a challenge. All these years, I've taken up challenges. Fine, let me go ahead. I went there. When I went there, believe me, it was really a, a tough place to work. Really a tough place to work. They... Uh, clerical people normally in BPCL they don't take uh, even dictations from any of the officers but the kind of deal I had with them is the kind of staff I was given they could not speak even English fluently that was my tragedy I told them boss let's cooperate and help one another in one year's time I want you guys to speak English fluently the same guys in the plant should look upon you guys. And believe me, they took up the challenge. After one year, I used to just give them the subject. They, they used to draft the letter. I was the junior most officer and the youngest guy who was, who was appointed as the head of training and development in, in the plant. Then we, we were going for ISO 9002 certification. Successfully, we got that certification. And the KPMG external auditors made a special recommendation about my record creeping as per the ISO 9002. Uh, that was the beauty. Uh, yeah. Uh, just, just for a minute. Yeah. Just for all of your information, KPMG, you know, it's basically the auditor's name. Okay. And worldwide, you know, if you want to know that who are the best auditor, KPMG is the best among few. Okay, and if you have any particular company, if you say any particular company has all its audited, you know, documentations and all those things by KPMG, there is no question that you should doubt about it. So, and giving, getting a kind of recommendation from KPMG, it's something, you know, very, very prestigious in corporate world. Let me tell you. I had another surprise in store after that by the corporation for me. Uh, quietly, they had sent my nomination for the National Award in the year 1998. I was uh, conferred with the Outstanding Disabled Employee and the award was given the, uh, by, by then the Prime Minister, Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, which was also... Uh, which, which was also telecasted live on Doordarshan at that time, right? Uh, immediately after that, I think uh, BPCL procured uh, JAWS and uh, OCR for me without me demanding for it. So what I'm trying to tell you here is you prove your worth, you prove your potential, automatically guys will come forward to do whatever they want to do for you. Don't only take, give back to the society, or give back to the organization wherever you're working. Believe me, the organization will look upon you. After that, I was transferred to Western region to look after the HR activities at the regional level. At that time, I was also, uh, what, what should I say? I was also uh, certified as a excellent trainer by the Innovation Associates for conducting organizational learning training programs. Well, even in the region, we did very well. The same plant was turned around and in 2003 my team under the leadership of my regional manager then we got uh, an award from the uh, from the company that's from bharat petroleum as the for the best hr practices in 2003 yeah 
it's only this june i got transferred to the all india level at the corporate level we call corporate they i am handling manpower planning training and development and discipline management looking at the inquiries all the disciplinary cases of workmen etc right now the career that are open for uh, individuals in the area of hr is one is training and development organizational development a lot of organizations uh, also have r and d in uh, in the area of organizational behavior organizational climate so there there is no limit in hr as such right now to make my whole uh, you know extempore short i would like to tell you one thing make maximum effort to live in integration not in isolation and always have and always have a positive attitude believe me today you students are much more lucky you can access internet you can read books in soft copy right but during my time believe me we we forget soft copy we we never had anything in braille and i don't have the habit of even reading on cassettes you can imagine my plight yeah so make best possible use of the facilities that are existing and i wish you all the best uh, for your career dreams and i i hope all you guys would come back to zaviers and you know talk to other future students as we are doing today